Hey guys, it's Donald Wombat here, and today the video I've got for you is going to be talking about all the crucible changes that are coming up in the, the coming DLC, The Dark Below, which drops tomorrow, or today, or whenever this video comes out, very, very soon. Anyway, we're going to get into it. If you enjoy this video, remember to hit that like button. Now, Bungie outlined all of this stuff in their weekly update, which they put on their website and also on the Destiny, uh, the Tracker app as well. But basically, let's talk about a few of these things. Now, coming in are going to be these things called slaughter rules. Now, I'm not completely sure how it does work, but this is what they've said. In the event of a massacre, all parties are returned to orbit at the conclusion of the match. In team-based playlists, if one team is grossly underperforming, the session is dissolved in favour of matchmaking. In the Rumble playlist, if three or more players are grossly underperforming, the session is dissolved in favour of matchmaking as well. Which basically means you go back to orbit and find a new game. Now, I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work, whether it's going to happen a lot, but I, I, in all honesty, I don't really like the sound of it. Um, for someone that plays plays in teams a lot, you know, I play a fair bit of um, a fair bit of Crucible, and I'm usually in a party. Or if I'm playing Rumble, I'm, I'm a fairly decent Rumble player, and you know, I, sometimes I flog the crap out of people. I would hate to be, you know, in in front at a match by a heap. And then all of a sudden, just go back to orbit. I, I don't really, I don't really know if that's how it'll work, but I really hope that it doesn't. I think it's just sort of maybe to stop boosters, sort of things. But I, I, I just don't know. I, I, I don't really like the sound of it, but I think we're just going to have to wait and see. For the more public playlist stuff, um, a limited time playlist salvage and combined arms will be available to all players, which is um, which is good because it's kind of annoying. Yeah, you know, they're not around very often. Bastion and First Light have moved out of control and clash and to combined arms. Now, this is very, very good because, man, oh man, did I hate playing Bastion and First Light. People would just cruise around on those interceptors and the pikes and just absolutely own you. Not to mention, the maps were absolutely enormous, so it took about, bloody, a minute between gunfights. It was pretty, it was pretty stupid. Talking about premium playlists for the guys that are, that are getting the DLC. New playlists will let you play the new content right away. Playlists will require the Dark Below to enter, obviously. Each week we'll have two additional premium playlists. Week 1 will be Clash and Rumble on the new maps. Rotators will change each week. And the big one here that they've said which is kind of interesting, new experimental modes to be included in these, uh, these premium playlists for the DLC guys. Now, I honestly have no idea what that means. What sort of new game modes are we going to get? Um, I really enjoy the game modes that they've come up with here, so I'm, I'm pretty excited to uh, to see what those are going to be. And the last thing that they have mentioned in their weekly update is about the Iron Banner. Now, everyone loves a bit of Iron Banner, and it says that Lord Celadon is returning to the tower on December the 16th. So, a week from now, you'll, uh, your event standings are going to be reset. So, you know, if you made it to rank 5 or rank 3 or rank 1 in the last Iron Banner, you're going to be reset to to rank zero, so you're going to have to grind it out again. The big exciting thing for a lot of people here is level 31 can now be reached by uh, acquiring gear through the Iron Banner. So the first Iron Banner was 29, the second Iron Banner was 30, and now you can get to level 31 by doing well and playing a lot of Iron Banner and earning the armor. So that's pretty exciting. And just for you guys that aren't getting the Dark Below, it's not going to be required to compete in the Iron Banner. I think it'll be the same where you know it'll just be those three or four or five maps that are quite popular and you know everyone seems to enjoy playing on those maps and they're pretty solid maps so yeah that's pretty much it uh there's a fair few fair bit of stuff there a lot of it's sort of going to be you know it's hard to it's hard to say how it's going to turn out right now and we're just going to have to wait and see and and play it for ourselves and you know, see what these slaughter rules. I'm very interested by the slaughter rules, and I'm very interested to see what these new experimental modes are going to be. But anyway, that is going to wrap up this video for now. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I really can't wait for this Dark Below DLC to drop. As soon as it does drop at 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, I am going to be streaming live on Twitch. We're going to be streaming the raid straight up. So if you jump down in the description, there will be my Twitch username there. Please head over there, give it a follow so that you know when I go live. If you want to check out the, the, the DLC straight up when it comes. But anyway, all from me. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like rating. Subscribe to see more videos from me. I've been Wombat, and I'll see you guys later.